The Asian session kicked off with some disappointing news. Earlier, macroeconomic statistics from China and Japan were published, which turned out to be worse than forecasts. Naturally, this will adversely affect the yen and even the Australian dollar. Following the weak report, the main Japanese stock market indexes have already shown a decline. However, the US stock market has added gains over the past week. This may tip uh, the balance of power. Would you like to know how exactly? Watch our video review. Last week, the US dollar index remained in the sideways channel. Many analysts call the current price of the greenback a market price. Currently, trading is conducted at the level of 90.05. The US dollar is highly likely to be trading until tomorrow in a narrow range from 89.90 to 90.15. The flat movement of the greenback is primarily associated with the long holidays in the United States and the United Kingdom. The market is likely to remain thin. In addition, no important news will be released until tomorrow. Yet, starting tomorrow, we will discuss possible scenarios for how the US dollar may break through the current price range. At the end of last week, the dollar-yen pair reached the resistance level of 109.97. However, it failed to break above this level as expected. What's more, the yen is likely to extend losses due to weak data from Asia. It may even try again to break through this level. However, it will not happen today as trading activity is low amid post, uh, public holidays in the United States and the United Kingdom. So, no significant changes are expected until tomorrow. It's worth mentioning that Japan's industrial production index turned out to be rather disappointing. The actual figure of 2.5% was much worse than the forecast value. On Friday, the Australian dollar was down by 70 pips against the US currency. As we can see on the chart, it literally uh, pierced the support level of 0.7690. It signals that the quote may reach the target level of 0.7641, which is at the high of December 17, 2020. Today, the Aussie is trading with a bearish bias. It may indicate the continuation of the downward movement. During the Asian session, trading was rather mixed. On the one hand, there was plenty of positive news for the US dollar index. On the other hand, the yen and the Australian dollar lost ground due to these small macroeconomic statistics from the Asian markets. We can only wait for how the situation is developing and how accurate our forecast will be. And that's all for now. We wish you profitable deals. See our channel with a new video in a couple of hours.